Fall for me, shawty. I ain't signing for none of this. Y'all trying to be romantic romance Damn, sick of y'all, man. Y'all out here with all these vehicle options, cars, trucks, motorcycles, bikes, segways. Y'all out here trying to ride me. That ain't fair. I'm alive. Sick of y'all, man. I'm sorry about what I did to y'all vehicles, but y'all trying to make me a vehicle, and I'm not having it. Man, get this thing up off of me, Please subscribe. Good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch and I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, July 15th. And in today's video, I have two plays for you. Two plays. Before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The markets ended mixed yesterday. The Dow ended up closing down 0.46% at 30,630, the Dow. The NASDAQ, they basically closed flat. The NASDAQ closed down 0.032% at 11,251. Apple, bucking the trend, Apple closed up 2% at $148.47 pennies. Fasten your seat belts and sit tight. You're going to be going through turbulence at $150 for Apple. Let's see what happens at $150 for Apple. Let's jump right into it. Dave's plays today are our SP plays. In and out, grab and go one and move. USEA. USEA is up 61% thus far in the pre-markets. Sitting at $3.56 at the recording of this video. The high of day thus far in the pre is four dollars and 62 pennies this one closed down 52 percent on the week usea on no particular news okay they made a brand new 52 week low yesterday of two dollars and 13 cents this one is in a shipping space based out of greece let's get the tires They were a market cap of 3.3 million. They have a tiny float of 1.5 million. Very sparse data on this one. If this one retracts below $3.23 today, this might be a no-go. USEA. The uh, company commenced trading on the stock market July 7th. So not much data on this one. Let's jump into Dave's bonus play. Also a SP play in and out, grab and go, one and move. Do not overstay, you're welcome. TBLT, TBLT is up 27% thus far in the pre-market, sitting at $3.04. The higher day thus far is $3.15. This one is in the tools and accessory space, headquarters out of California. If this retrace is below 287, 287, this might be a no-go today. TBLT. Let's kick the tires. They wear a market cap of 4.3 million. They have a teeny tiny float of a cool million. 28% of the float are held by insiders. 9% of the float are held by institution. And the shorts have, hear this, 132% of the float. I've never seen this before. Shorts has 132% of the float. Please, please pay attention to this one. This might be a short squeeze candidate today, TBLT. Let's continue. They have 75 million in revenues. Their revenue per share is 97.11. <laughs> Let me say that again. Their revenue per share is 97.11. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 40% year over year. 40% year over year, their quarterly revenue growth. They have 19 million in gross profit. They have a total cash of 937K and a total debt of 2 million, 2 million in debt. So 937K in cash, 2 million in debt. Their current ratio is sitting at 2.07 TBLT. Their book value per share is 55.38. Book value per share, 55.38 TBLT. 
LT. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, guys, at the Petite for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Stay well and be safe over the weekend. See you on uh, Sunday or Monday. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is a penny, just a penny. Okay? Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way you go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. Welcome back to Dave Newell's channel. Don't forget to hit that like. Please subscribe and share. To listen to their words. One evening he did hear the ox bemoaning to the ass the hardness of his lot. I do labor pulling the plow from morning until night. No matter how hot the day or how tired my legs or how the bow doth chafe my neck, still must I work. But you are a creature of leisure. You are trapped with a colorful blanket and do nothing more than carry our master about where he wishes to go. When he goes nowhere, you do rest in the green grass all the day. I have enjoyed a day of rest. And I 
retort in the ass. And like many another simple-hearted one who starts to help a friend and ends up by doing his task for him. Hereafter, you draw your own plow, for I did hear the master tell the slave to the butcher, were you sick again? I wish he would, for you are a lazy fellow. Thereafter, they spoke to each other no more. This ended their friendship. Canst thou tell the moral to this tale, Rodan? Tis a good tale, responded Rodan, but I see not the moral. I thought not that you would, but it is there and simple too. Just this. If you desire to help thy friend, do so in a way that will not bring thy friend's burdens upon thyself. I had not thought of that. It is a wise way. I wish not to assume the burdens of my sister's husband. But tell me, and lend to many, do not the borrowers repay? They thought smiled the smile of one whose soul is rich with much experience. Could a loan be well made if the borrower cannot repay? Must not the lender be wise and judge carefully whether his gold can perform a useful purpose to the borrower and return to him once more? Or whether it will be wasted by one unable to use it wisely and leave him without his treasure and leave the borrower with a debt he cannot repay. I will show to thee the tokens in my token chest and let them tell thee some of their stories. Into the room he brought a chest as long as his arm, covered with red pink skin and ornamented with bronze. So there you have it, excerpts from The Richest Man in Babylon. And always remember, 10% of what you earn is yours to keep. Minimum 10% of every dollar you earn is yours to keep forever. Thank you for watching, Dave Natch, I'm out.